Hi, this is Dr. Susan Rigg from SusanRiggMD.com. In today's video, I'd like to share with you some of the history of Dr. John Lee MD's work, particularly how and why he became interested in the use of natural bioidentical progesterone for both women and men. Of course, most of Dr. Lee's work involved helping women with menopausal problems and also women with PMS. However, it turns out that he helped men as well, particularly with respect to hormone treatments for prostate health. Ultimately, we have the Christmas holiday tradition of kissing under the mistletoe to thank for inspiring Dr. John Lee to look beyond conventional medicine to a more natural treatment for women suffering from the symptoms of progesterone deficiency or estrogen dominance. At the beginning of Dr. Lee's famous book on progesterone, he states, Discovery, it is said, favors the prepared mind. Such preparedness may occur as a result of intentional study or may be accidental and or serendipitous. In my case, I credit serendipity. So first of all, who is Dr. John R. Lee? Dr. Lee was a family practice doctor in Northern California and he practiced conventional medicine for 30 years before he decided to retire from patient care. He then began writing a number of books about bioidentical hormones and the use of natural progesterone for various medical conditions. He traveled all around the world giving talks to countless large groups of people including doctors, scientists, and lay people. Dr. Lee was also responsible for coining the term estrogen dominance, which refers to a relative lack of progesterone compared to estrogen. It is very well known now that this imbalance of estrogen and progesterone leads to many problematic symptoms that are familiar to millions of women. Unfortunately, conventional medicine still advocates that women use synthetic hormones for menopausal symptoms, which unfortunately are associated with undesirable side effects. Dr. Lee was a very brilliant man and he had a distinguished medical career. He obtained his undergraduate degree from Harvard University and then he subsequently attended medical school at the University of Minnesota. He and his wife, Pat Lee, settled in Northern California and they raised three amazing children. He taught a very popular course at the College of Marin for 15 years and these teachings were compiled into a book called Optimal Health Guidelines. In the last 10 years that he practiced medicine, he used transdermal bioidentical progesterone cream on thousands of patients and he documented numerous health benefits, including reduction of PMS symptoms, reduction of menopausal symptoms, such as hot flashes, night sweats, and so on, and reduction of breast lesions and breast cancers. He also found improved heart health and dramatically improved bone density, even in women with advanced osteoporosis. Dr. John Lee was a longtime member of the Marin Medical Society. He was the editor of the MMS Bulletin, and he was responsible for writing a monthly editorial column. His first writings about the effects of natural progesterone are found in the editorial section of the MMS newsletter in 1967. In December of 1967, he was struggling to find a topic that was interesting to the medical society and was also seasonally pertinent. As a due date for the editorial approached, he happened to read two articles that turned him on to the topic of natural progesterone and inspired him to look deeper into hormone physiology and eventually led to his extensive research and writings. Both of these articles describe characteristics of mistletoe, a parasitic plant that roots in host trees such as oak trees. The first article about mistletoe that Dr. Lee read was in the Harvard Alumni Journal and it described a little bit of the history of the Christmas mistletoe custom, whereby men could kiss any lady that was standing beneath a sprig of mistletoe. Apparently, this custom originated with the pagan rituals of the Celts, who lived in the British Isles in the millennium before Christ. For their winter solstice celebration, which typically started around December 22nd or December 23rd and lasted approximately a week, the Druids, who were the physician priest leaders, would collect the mistletoe berries and create a sacred concoction of warm alcoholic drinks laced with the mistletoe. This was meant to celebrate the promise that the sun would not disappear entirely and that the world would not die but would be rejuvenated by the return of the sun and the coming of spring. Coincidentally, on the same day, Dr. Lee read an article in JAMA describing that mistletoe contains a compound very similar to progesterone, 
This JAMA story was about a doctor who recently retired from the NIH who had done in-depth analysis of the European mistletoe berry and found unexpectedly high concentrations of progesterone-like sterols, as well as other sterols and glycosides, including digitalis. As Dr. Lee wrote in his book, here was a mystery to be solved. Did the progesterone and mistletoe berries have anything to do with the Celts' use of them? And what connection could it have with the Christmas holiday? Dr. Lee postulated that the combination of the warm alcohol and the progesterone from the mistletoe berries would relax all inhibitions that were prevalent at the time and it would also increase libido and result in more intimate relations between men and women, in other words, more sex. Furthermore, when the week of partying ended, there would be an abrupt drop in the women's progesterone level resulting in menstrual shedding. As Dr. Lee wrote, Thus, any conception occurred during the week of unrestricted sex would be lost with a drop in progesterone and the resultant menstrual flow. This reinforced the perception that sex during this week of festivities, without subsequent pregnancy and without resultant responsibilities that went with that, was just another gift from the gods. It was like free sex. After the week of celebration, the party would stop, ingestion of progesterone and the mistletoe drinks would stop, and all of the women would have their periods, and no babies would occur. No wonder they called it a gift from the gods. So in his Christmas editorial for the publication, Dr. Lee proposed that any woman standing under the mistletoe was merely a reminder of the sexual promiscuity enjoyed by the Celts during the winter solstice celebration, a gift of the natural progesterone found in the mistletoe berry. More than a decade later, in 1978, Dr. John Lee attended a lecture given by Dr. Ray Peet on the subject of natural progesterone treatments derived from wild yam root. This was a pivotal point in Dr. Lee's career. He had familiarity with the concept of natural hormones being found within plants, and this information led Dr. Lee to decide to offer natural progesterone treatments to many of his patients who could not use estrogen because of prior breast or uterine cancers. Dr. Lee knew that osteoporosis accelerated at the time of menopause, and he had a very strong suspicion that this was a result of gonadal hormones, such as estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone, that were dropping. He had been treating menopausal women with natural bioidentical estrogen along with calcium and vitamin D. However, he knew that this was not the complete answer for bone loss and osteoporosis. His treatments would slow down the bone loss, but no newborn formation would occur. After Dr. Lee heard Dr. Pete's talk, he speculated that if estrogen alone was not the answer, perhaps progesterone was also involved in keeping bones strong and preventing bone loss, osteopenia, and osteoporosis. In a further incidence of serendipity, a radiologist near Dr. Lee had started to offer relatively low-cost DPA, thus making accurate evaluation of bone mineral density a reality for clinicians. DPA was actually the precursor to the DEXA scans that we now use to do bone density scans. Dr. Lee started sending his patients for DPA tests, and to his considerable surprise, his patients on progesterone therapy showed actual increase in bone density, not just a delayed loss that was seen in the patients treated only with estrogen. After this, Dr. Lee began to treat more patients with natural progesterone, and bone scans showed the same results. These patients also reported improvement in many other symptoms that were not affected by estrogen alone. The icing on the cake, no side effects. The patients showed increased bone density, increased energy and alertness, relief from breast pain and cysts and breast lumps, decreased symptoms of hypothyroidism or improved function of free T3, less inflammation, and return of libido. After many years, patient after patient showed the same pattern of benefits, and Dr. Lee accumulated a huge amount of data to share with his colleagues in the rest of the world. He then went on to write his books and give talks to thousands all around the world about the benefits of natural bioidentical progesterone cream. That's all for this video. In my next video, I will go over some of the amazing history of the discovery of progesterone. Thank you.